Hey there and welcome to my YouTube channel. This video I will be dividing into two different parts where part one of the video I will be talking about what is body image and why it is important and part two of the video I will be talking about the top 10 ways that can help you develop your body image. It can help you improve your body image. The way you think, the way you feel about your physical self is your body image. Why is body image important? Mainly there are three fundamental things. Why is it important? First, it helps you build confidence. Okay, when you are confident about your body, you're going to love yourself, which takes me to the second point is when you love yourself, you accept the whole of you. You know, you, when you accept, when you love the whole of you, it is such a beautiful feeling. Which takes me to the third point is, you will be constantly in positive thinking. You will be positively thinking. You'll, have, you'll be generating positive thoughts. You will be speaking positive and talking about the body perspective, now your physical perspective, okay? So you will be thinking positive. You will be feeling positive about your body and... The way you're going to carry yourself is also going to be positive because that's how the world is going to look at you. So to wrap this around, what is body image? Body image is the way you think, the way you feel about your physical self is called a body image. In part two of the video, I will be talking about the 10 most powerful steps that are going to help you build your body image. Let's dive into it. Welcome to the part two of the video. In this video, as I mentioned, I will be talking about the 10 ways that can help you improve your body image. Now, here is a tip. These 10 tips are not the only tips that can help you improve the body image. There are plenty other available, but I'll just be sharing 10, which I feel are convenient, which I have used for myself that might help you as well. So diving to the first one. Don't focus on what other people's body looks like. This is so important, right? Like often in life, we compare ourselves, especially our physical appearance, especially our bodies, especially the way we look, the way we feel, the way we think. We are always comparing ourselves with other human beings. You know, for instance, we could say like, she looks so cool. She looks so great. I like her physic, I like her biceps or, you know, I like his abs. He has got a great physic and I don't have that. Or maybe I'm just too short and he's too tall or maybe I'm not able to compete because I'm short. You know, so many reasons. So many reasons to compare yourself with others. So please do not focus on others' physical appearance. Do not focus on others' physical aspect. Do not look for others' physical appearance or physical aspect. Look at focus on your physical being. Focus on who you are, what you are. Focus on your physical body, okay? Do focus on the things you like about your appearance. Now, this is such an important concept, right? Like, you have so many qualities in you. Now, look at your body, look at your appearance, look at the way you talk. You might be creative, you might be a great communicator, you might have great strength, you might have great height, you might have something because each one of us have something, right? So you need to be proud. You need to focus on your appearance and be proud of it. Each day, say one thing that you like about yourself. So let me ask you this question. Do you think positive, one positive thing about yourself every single day? Do you? If you not, if you do not, right now, as you're watching this video, I just want you to pause this video and write down the one thing that you appreciate about yourself. One thing that you appreciate about your physical self. One thing that you appreciate about your physical body. What is it that you like? One thing. Write it down. Just write it down and you'll feel so good. Just write it down, guys. 
focus on accomplishments that have to do with who you are as a person and not what you look like. Focus on your accomplishments, guys, rather than focusing on what it has to be, how it has to be. Just focus on the accomplishments that you have achieved so far with whatever you had and with whatever that you are today. Okay, focus on your accomplishments. You need to understand that the things that we see on the television or on social media platforms, they have been altered to perfection. Everything is not as it seems. <laughs> this is my favorite concept because we live in a world filled with crap. We look at somebody's post on Instagram, we look at somebody's post on Facebook and we feel like, wow, their life is so great and my life is so miserable. We are often comparing, we are looking at others' life and saying that my life is bad, my life is terrible. Stop. Okay, just stop there. Whatever social media posts, the stories, whatever people are posting, you don't know their lives. You personally don't know them. And even if you do know, it's not even one fourth of the life what they are posting on social media. So please do not get mixed up. Do not feel guilty. Do not feel bad. Do not feel insecure by looking someone else's post because it is not even one fourth of their life of what they are posting. Cook. You don't need validation from anyone else to feel good about yourself. This is true. Why do you need validation from other people when you know you are beautiful, when you know you are awesome, you know you are an incredible human being, when you know that you are this outstanding human being who can achieve anything and everything. And if you didn't know, let me be the person to tell you that you are awesome. You are great. You are fantastic. You do not need validation from people to tell you that you are great. You are perfect the way you are. You are awesome the way you are. So please do not focus on people's validation. Do not focus on getting comments from people. Do not wait for compliments from people. Just be who you are because you are awesome. No one is perfect. So just embrace the fact that you have flaws and love the things that make you unique. Do you love yourself? Now, if you tell me that, no, I do not love myself because I don't have this, because I am not that, no. Love yourself with whatever you are, with whoever you have become so far, because you are unique. Each one of us are unique. The way we talk, the way we think, the way we act, the way we express, each one of us have different unique capabilities and abilities of doing that. So you are unique. Love yourself and know that nobody is perfect in this world. It is okay to be imperfect. It is okay to have flaws and it is okay to do mistakes. Okay, learn from your mistakes. But do not keep dwelling on them saying that I did have mistakes, I did have failures, so today I am imperfect. No, perfectionism is just an illusion, okay? So accept the whole of you. It's okay to be imperfect. Surround yourself with people who support you and make you feel good about yourself. I've heard this amazing quote that says, you are the average of five people you spend time with. So right now, I want you to pause the video and give it a thought. Whom do you spend the most time with? Who are your five people? Are they uplifting you? Are they motivating you? Are they encouraging you? Are they helping you move towards your goal? Please, guys, surround yourself with the people who uplift you, who motivate you, who can help you reach great heights. In fact, I would say that surround yourself with people who are on the same journey as you. Now, maybe this is the quote somewhere I have read, but yes, it is true. Surround yourself with the people who are on similar mission. And if you don't find them, surround yourself with people who are positive. Surround yourself with the people who uplift you, who motivate you, who bring 
the change in you in a positive way and still they love you. The most important point is they love you and they accept the whole of you. Who are your five people? Do things that make you happy. Now, talking about your happiness, now leave aside your professional life and your personal life. What really makes you happy? Do those things on a daily basis so that you can develop confidence. Not necessarily you should be good at it. It's okay even if you're not good at it. For example, I don't consider myself as a great cook. I, I, I'm not a great chef. I can't cook that well. But sometimes I do have fun when I get into the kitchen. I try to do some sandwiches or pasta. I do have a lot of fun because it's not 100% right. It's never 100% right. So what I'm trying to point over here is that do something that makes you happy. And most importantly, just enjoy the process. Okay, it should not be, uh, even if it's not related to your personal life or your professional life, just enjoy it. Just whatever that makes you happy. If it is reading a book that makes you happy, by all means do it. If walking in nature makes you happy, go do it. You have a cat or a dog, you know, enjoy with them. Just have a great moment, okay? Happiness is important. Love yourself the way you are right now, not what or who you could be. Love yourself. Such a phenomenal thing, right? You have to love yourself because when you love yourself, you are accepting the person you are. And right now, when you're watching this video, I want you to tell to yourself, I love myself. You know, just keep saying, I love myself, I love myself, I love who I am, I love who I am right now. Okay, wherever you are in the world right now, whatever you are doing, whatever your profession is, just love yourself. Be proud of who you are, be proud of everything that you have overcome, be proud of everything that you have overcome and you have reached till today. Be proud of yourself. Love yourself. Be proud of yourself. Be optimistic about life. Accept the whole of you because you, my dear, are unique. You are awesome. You are unique. You are great and you are fantastic. You're an incredible human being. Keep saying to yourself that I love myself. Very important concept. So these were the 10 ways that can help you improve your body image. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to like, share, and also please comment below down there. I would love to know your thoughts. Take care until then. Bye-bye and more powers to you.